So today I'm going to show you how to re-foam your speaker when the foam gets all um, wore out and cracked and brittle. So first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your new surrounds and you can order these on eBay. They're pretty reasonable. Uh, you get a pair for about six, seven bucks. Uh, these are eight inch speakers so we got the eight inch surrounds. You're going to need some scrapers to scrape the old rubber off. Uh, you have to scrape all the surround off underneath this plastic here. And we have, you need a good razor blade to scrape. You're going to need the glue. And you're going to need some alcohol to clean around and get all the residue off of all the glue so you can put your new surround on. And then we have another pry bar tool that we're going to use to take the plastic ring off. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get all this old foam out of here. So we're going to use the razor blade. And we're just going to start cutting. It should come off pretty easy because it's uh, really old and brittle. So just go around, cut it off. You can see how it just pretty much falls off. And the thing about this rubber, make sure you got a newspaper or something around because don't get this on the carpet, don't get it on the floor or anything, or if you got a clean shirt because it's almost like a tar. So if you, <clears throat> if you get it on something, it's not gonna it's gonna be real hard to get it off. You can see how this just peels right off. But like I said, put a newspaper down or put something around so you're not gonna get uh, get that surround all over the place. And then pretty much the whatever is on the speaker, you're going to want to um, just take that off. You can take it off with your thumb, because we're going to clean that with alcohol later. Next thing you're going to do is you want to take this plastic ring off. So you just take your little pry bar and you pry underneath it. You've got to be real careful that you don't crack it though, because it's, uh, it's glued down there pretty good. So you just go around real slowly, just pry it up, a little bit at a time. And now what you have to do is you have to scrape all this off of here because that's where your new surround is going to sit. So just be careful you don't hit the cone or anything like that when you're scraping. And then you want to just scrape all this, uh, all this old rubber off. So once you got the rest of your surround off, and you scraped all your residue and all your old surround from underneath the plastic you're going to want to clean it with some alcohol because you want a nice flat surface for your new surround to stick on so you just go around it and clean it off go around there and you want to go around the edge of the cone too you want to clean off all this uh, this old surround on there Okay, the next step after you took all your old residue and all the old glue and old surround off, you're going to want to put the glue right around where the old surround used to be. You can see the edge, you can see the mark on it. And be careful with the glue, just use it sparingly because you don't want glue all over your cone. So you're pretty much just going to go around the whole edge of the cone. So now you got your glue on the cone right around the edges. Don't put too much, just put a little bit around the edges where the old glue used to be. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put glue also on the surround in the same position where the where the surround is going to sit on the uh, cone. So now you got glue on your surround. You just want to spread that out. Make sure it covers the whole edge where the surround is going to go back onto the cone. Now after you got all your glue onto the cone and you got all your glue on the surround, you're going to want to center it and you're going to put a rate right in the exact position where the glue meets the glue. And be real careful not to get any on the inside cone. So make sure you smooth it all around and push the foam real tight onto the cone. And then you're going to want to let it dry, at least for a couple hours. A lot of people say an hour, but sometimes I even let it dry overnight just to get a real good uh, seal on it. 
and then after this is all dried up we're going to want to glue it onto the frame I'm not taking the dust cap off. I know you should take the dust cap off to shim it so your voice coil doesn't rub, but if you can center it good enough and just test it and make sure that it's not rubbing on the voice coil when you're gluing it, just be real careful and you could do it that way too. But like I said, if you wanted to take the dust cap off, you'd have to cut the dust cap off, get a new dust cap, and then you have to shim it on each side. So you could do it that way too, but on these infinities, it's an inverted cap, so it'd be kind of hard to get that thing out. You could do it, but it would just be a, an extra job. So there you go. Just let it sit an hour, a couple hours, and when it's dry, next thing you want to do is you want to put the uh, glue onto here and center it to the voice coil so it's not rubbing. Okay, our glue is all dried on the cone where the surround meets the cone. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the glue underneath the foam on the edges that go to the frame. So you're going to have to lift up under here and carefully put the glue in the same thing, spread it around so it's nice and even. And you're going to probably, since you're not going to take the dust cap off, you're going to want to make sure that your cone is not rubbing on the voice coil, you know, because it's not going to sound good if you plug in your speaker and hear that. So. Uh, glue it on, push down on it real lightly and make sure that it's not rubbing on the voice coil and then glue it down. And then that's about it. Once that glue is done, you put your plastic trim piece back on and you're good to go. Again, you're going to want to let it dry about another uh, another couple hours. Let the glue that's underneath there dry. So, And then that'll be it. You're going to have your brand new uh, woofer. And these would have been really expensive if you had to buy them again because they're for infinity. So you save yourself a lot of money when you do it yourself. And it doesn't really take that long. So there you go.